Hello everybody. Even though this was considered a love reading and I asked the divine to show me what is happening for love for you guys, a lot didn't come out that had to do with love. So I'm going to post this as a general snapshot for love. So I hope that makes sense and you guys take care. Enjoy your reading. Hello my Leo friends. This is Guiding Halo and this is going to be what's coming for you or some of you anyway in October for love. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this message finds you happy and healthy. All right, let's see what's going on. Prince of Spring, huh? Prince of Wands, charming, self-confident. Just one moment, I need my glasses. There we go, glasses gotten. Immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. So you guys have feelings for someone. I don't think you're telling them just yet. And the Princess of Autumn, studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous, happy news about a career, promotions, or scholarships, well thought out plans that go perfectly, needing a little push to get going. So this is the inflow of abundance and communication coming in about how to create that inflow of abundance. Interesting. Someone has an ignited spark of passion for somebody, and I just don't think that they're telling them yet. And it could possibly be because they're concerned about how finances are going right now. And so, hmm, interesting. It could be another fire sign such as yourself, maybe a Sagittarius, or it could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What is this Prince of Spring about? Prince of Spring. Ooh, yeah, I told you, a passionate spark for somebody. All right, big old freaking new start right there for my Leo friends. This could be a definite offer perhaps to, you know, go have some fun sexually. Perhaps you're looking at delving into your shadow side a little bit want to have some more fun but you're feeling karmically connected to something someone wants to start new here in love absolutely but feeling karmically tied due to something or it could be a someone you're feeling karmically tied to there's been endings absolutely putting the burdens down i just saw two tens flip i'm going to shuffle the cards again being told to so definitely finding balance between shadow side and light side so keep in mind that shadow side can be addicted to staying in a relationship for sake of the children or for sake of not wanting to look like a bad guy someone may very well need to declare bankruptcy in order to get out of a bunch of debt that has been created due to a relationship they've been in for a while and in order to wow this okay i just got cards that flew <laughs> oops and more cards flying hang on one second <clears throat> yes someone could definitely be dealing with a virgo taurus or capricorn perhaps there's and there's a temporary pause here well, you deal with a karmic situation you've been in for quite some time. Now, I'm going to put these two cards with this card because they flew out for that card. An apology coming in possibly or a new love at a crossroads trying to decide which way to go with this. Could be even a new job offer coming in. Happy news about your career promotions or scholarships. Well thought out plans that go perfectly. At a crossroads here, regardless about which way you're going to head forward. So someone wants to make a passionate offer or has made a passionate offer that is making you stop and think for a minute about which way you want to head forward. And I truly believe that you could be not leaving due to not wanting to upset the children or something. Or upset the status quo with your said children all up in your head about what to do here yeah taking out a moment out to think about which way to move forward asking the divine for clarity on this because you're a little on the not so sure side confused 
y'all need to talk to somebody. And if you feel like you can't talk to people about it because they're going to stop listening at some point, perhaps you're not talking to the right people. We have the divine stepping in to change your trajectory. Something you thought was dead in the water could never improve, could never come about. There's no way is coming in. The divine is going to change your mind about something and it's going to bring healing to you and help you put down the burdens. And I bet you it has anything to do with this job. Yep. It has everything to do with this job. Is going to help you deal with a love situation in some way, shape, or form. What did I just say? It's going to help you deal with a love situation. Guy meets girl. Guy likes girl. Girl meets guy. Holy crap. Girl, girl really, really likes guys willing to throw the whole world into titters over it. This girl that likes guy. Okay, so now let's put this this way. Okay, so... We have this person that you've met that you like could be Virgo Taurus Capricorn could be somebody who's amassed a certain amount of wealth for themselves my Leo friends but you're very conflicted about which way to head forward okay now let's go over here you need it seems to me a better paying job or you've been looking for a better paying job in order to meet the financial a crisis that's going on between you and a karmic or you and a spouse or you and somebody and you want to put the burdens down but you've met somebody that or it could be that you forgot how much you like this person that you're with your karmic because of financial struggle that's come in between you now we have Justice, so the divine stepping in to bring justice and a very happy outcome. There's your energy. This is very happy times. It's going to help you cut out the BS. Absolutely, it's going to help you bring balance to a situation where there's been no balance for what seemed like a very long time. Help you walk away from emotional turmoil to your nine of cups. Well, that's beautiful. This is the divine working in the background, taking you through challenging waters in order to bring you out the other side and king of pentacles energy or i would say this nine of pentacles energy and it could be that the love of somebody else is what needs to help you leave a situation you're in in order to bring about this stability your way we have the lovers here two people that have, this is about two people that have definitely been together previously They've made love together. Let's put it this way. And it, this could be hmm, in a past life. It could be this life. It could be any life, really and truly. I just really feel almost, I just got this thought that I should do this reading over again. But I'm not going to because there's something about what's going on here that's very important for someone in a karmic relationship regarding money. Now, there's a new start for passion. If possible, money wasn't an issue in this relationship. I think there could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that's really working on who they are as a person. Trying to bring about a change, but they're unclear about how to do that. Trying to bring about a change with you, my Leo friends. They feel karmically tied to their addictions, and they're trying to change that. But they're just not sure how to. But the divine is going to step in in order to help them do so. In order to bring healing so they can put the burdens down where this addiction is concerned. And I think in doing this, they're actually going to come back to themselves. And who you knew them to be. That's why I'm saying that someone forgot how much they cared about somebody and how much they liked them. How much they loved them. Because they haven't seen them as this in a long time. I don't think you've seen this person as this in a very long time. And it could be entirely possible that once this happens, you are incredibly conflicted now about what to do. Because if you give in, I think you feel they may slip back into this mode. Or perhaps there's just too much water under the bridge to move forward. But 
with this new job situation coming in, an apology, a very emotional apology that's a surprise to you. Someone may be going to get help at a center or something for their addictive ways. And it's a very big surprise to you, but it puts you yourself at a crossroads because all of a sudden it's time to cut out the BS. Now, look, look at this. We have this, this here, this trajectory here across the top of the Princess of Pentacles. So, you know, this is the Page of Pentacles, I believe. So it would be somebody who's, it's about the inflow of abundance and at a crossroads having the inflow of abundance come your way and an ingenious idea about how to handle that abundance, which brings victory and justice your way and an incredibly happy outcome. Helps you walk away from the emotional turmoil straight to what? Nine of Cups, which is the person you already love. The divine working in the background, passionate messages back and forth between you and the divine about how to conquer this, how to cut out the BS, how to how to get past this crossroads which which direction to choose you thought that this love would never come back hey guys I'm really getting that this is my Leo friends that thought this would never change but it's about to change and it's going to cause chaos in your world when it does stepping into emperor status y'all could be dealing with a judge you could be dealing with something in court or or working in a court type situation that actually almost brings somebody close to a life-threatening situation that puts everything into perspective for you and right freaking fast. The divine here could be sending messages to a judge type figure as to how to handle this. Could be a boss, could be a CEO. Wow, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is no longer a judge scenario. This is the divine stepping in 100% to bring two people together that have been through a challenging time. And it could have something to do with a new job situation that brings them out of financial scarcity. Going inward to find clarity on this. Or there could be a Virgo in your life who has helped you in this situation, helped the divine speak through about this financial abundance or the abundance that you seek and that it's right in front of you. It's actually right beside you. Look at this beautiful energy between these two here. It could be a Virgo coming in, helping you see something from a different perspective that you've been all up in your head about that totally changes your trajectory where this person is concerned. Helps you see possibly how to bring justice between you and the person you love or person you've been in. Well, whoever this is has been in a relationship for a long time with this person or married. Could be common law. Whichever. Let's get advice from the angels, please, here from my Leo friends. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So my Leo friends, it's about stepping into compassion instead of being so judgmental and understanding where you had, where you went wrong too. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try and force it to happen. It could be that a mother and father figure are going to step in in some way shape or form and help you through this scenario look at that victory i've had this card repeatedly come out and i have shuffled and shuffled and shuffled your desire is coming to fruition keep up the good work so what you truly desire what your heart soul true desire is which i get for a lot of you is to stay with this person but to have have a uh, solidity in your finances and to have them deal with their I, I how many times have you guys said if only if only they would deal with their bullshit get their their act together and my finances could finally be stable we could work this out well it's about to happen i don't know how it's about to happen but the divine my friends works in darn mysterious ways and it's about to come to fruition in some way shape or form Let's get a message from Spirit as to how best to move forward for you guys. 
message from spirit as to how best to move forward in this situation for you guys. Message from spirit, please. How best to move forward for my Leo friends. How best to move forward for my Leo friends. I don't think your parents are going to come in and help you with money, but I think they're going to help you if you do what's best when you get to this crossroads decision area. Are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to take a little break from all that and start having fun. When you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. We just need you to let go a little. Spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter when you have fun. When was the last time you got really loose, silly and goofy? Maybe you need to go dancing or watch some very funny comedy to make you laugh or call the one friend you know who will remind you of how ridiculous and delightfully giddy you can be. You will return refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world as less daunting. And you will be ready to receive in perfect timing the bounty that Spirit has for you. Don't you just love how much we care about you? So the Divine wants you to know that they've got this. They've got this situation in the palm of their hands and that they need you to relax it a little bit because perhaps you're strangling any way the divine can bring the beauty into your life by, by setting forward an intention that cannot be molded and grown in any way. It has to look like this. That's when uh, you box the divine in and don't let them bring what to you? Victory. So are you going to let the divine bring victory to you? Or are you going to try and control every little thing? You guys will have to let me know if this resonates. Blessings to you.